The Percy Jackson Disney Plus show finally released the full official trailer. And I'll just say, you guys are not ready for what you're about to see. In the first scene, we got young Percy Jackson at the Met Museum with his mom, Sally, telling him why she named him Percy. Perseus, that's me. Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. Because he was a hero? Because he was brave and kind and... This is a great opening scene. It really gets to the roots of Percy's character, showing how his mom named him after Perseus because he was one of the only Greek heroes to have a happy ending. Then we get a quick flash of multiple different scenes. Percy, Annabeth, and Grover walking through the underworld. Badass. Blue food. Let's go, man. For those who haven't read the books, you'll see why that's important. Grover falling down a hillside, which I assume is the moment the flying shoes try to take Grover down to Tartarus. Can't wait to see that entire sequence. A POV shot of Percy plumbing to his death from the St. Louis Arch. Very cool shot. Percy running through the woods during Capture the Flag because Clarice is about to whoop him into shape. And finally, Percy underwater. This is definitely the scene where he meets the water nymph. And it looks sick with the red lighting. Next is this beautiful shot of Percy in the rain. Definitely one of my favorite shots. It reminds me of the Percy Jackson book covers with the water and contrasted colors. This next scene at the Met Museum is a great sequence of events. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. <laughs> like a puzzle with half their own pieces. But lately, it all feels different somehow. Little things like Percy and Grover trading lunches, Percy's bully Nancy throwing food at Grover, Percy getting mad at Nancy for doing this, the whole monologue about Percy not being able to explain all the weird Greek stuff going on, and finally a shot of Blackjack, who is Percy's Pegasus later on in the franchise. This entire sequence is very nicely shot, and it captures the character of Percy very well. The next sequences are a nice add-on to the last scene. Percy, you are special. When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, they'll tell you. Percy's teacher Chiron giving him the pen sword Riptide. Let's go. And his monologue to Percy, very nice foreshadow to his quest for the gods. A quick shot of Ares, Medusa, and Cerberus. Percy, the stories I have told you about Greek gods and monsters, they are real. This is crazy! Finally, the Ares fight shall commence. Medusa in this dark cavern about to give me straight up nightmares. And Percy trying to use the red ball to make friends with Cerberus. Very cool shot. Bro almost got chomped. And Sally telling Percy that Greek gods and monsters are real. And Percy just not handling it. I really like this part because, yeah, how does a person, let alone a kid, process that this magical stuff is real? It's a very nice moment for Percy. Next few scenes are phenomenal. Percy Jackson. Your father needs your help. The master bolt has been stolen. If you don't return the bolt, there will be war. That is your quest. Awesome shots of camp in the Poseidon cabin. Percy and his father on Olympus looking real slick. Percy returning the bolt to the elevator guy. The lightning bolt looks really cool here with the whole bronze weapon design. And Percy versus Clarice and she's got her electric spear. Hell yeah! and Percy staring upwards with a look of fear. Perhaps this is before the Ares fight, or I'm thinking this is the scene in the underworld where Percy has to save Grover from being pulled into Tartarus. We'll just have to wait and see. Next few shots, we introduce the squad. I know it sounds daunting, but you won't be alone. A quest is always undertaken by three. Damn, Percy, Annabeth, and Grover in the underworld being stalked by dead people? Went straight to a horror movie real quick over here. Then a big shot of the hearth at Camp Half-Blood. The set here looks awesome with how much space there is and how ancient everything looks. Also, Mr. D, the camp counselor, makes his first appearance. Let's go! Annabeth and Grover getting their shot in the spotlight. And then the squad is finally here. Annabeth turning invisible with her Yankees cap, just like in the books. Awesome. Next scene is Percy trying to figure out what he's good at in camp. We gotta figure out what you're good at. Should I try again? No! Luke being Percy's friend. Ah, how long that will last. Percy shooting an arrow at the makeshift Hydra target and completely missing the target. Yep, he sucks at archery. Classic Percy. And they straight up tell Percy no to trying again. The comedy is great here. Also, very nice detail of the camper with the wheelchair, since demigods have disabilities. I really like how they gave one with a physical disability. Next are shots of Percy and Annabeth. There's no place for me here. You still don't get where you fit into all this. Percy saying how he doesn't fit into everything, the real world, the magical world. Everywhere he feels like he doesn't belong. But the scene at Waterland and the Tunnel of Love ride and Annabeth telling Percy that he does have a place in this story. Man, I really love the foreshadow to their relationship here. Also, this shot of Percy and Olympus looks cool. I can't wait to see more of Olympus. Next few shots are on the train. 
We were sent on a quest by the gods. What do you think it'll be easy? First and foremost, Annabeth arguing with Percy about how the quest was never going to be easy. Classic Annabeth arguing with Percy. Percy, Annabeth, and Grover looking down the train, definitely looking at a monster. We then see this monster, it's Echidna, where Annabeth stabs her. Nice. Interesting though, in the books, Echidna doesn't show up on the train. Echidna almost kills Percy in the books, and then we never see her again. So it seems here we actually do see her again. This time for round two. Oh, that's actually really cool, I like this change. Then we got a shot of Percy and Grover in the underworld. Two undead warriors let them inside because Hades awaits their arrival. I noticed that Annabeth isn't in this shot, I suppose she's just invisible here. Next we got the scene of the Lotus Casino. Demi gods, welcome. You can notice that people are wearing different eras of clothing here, as the casino traps people for all time. Also, Hermes is here. Very cool. Then we get this scene of this older satyr that Percy attacks in the casino. And we actually never see this guy in the book, so I'm excited to see what happens here. Next is Percy versus Ares. Holy smokes, man. Percy is schmoovin and barely parrying these strong attacks from Ares. Damn, bro. The final battle has commenced and it looks wicked. Then we got the Minotaur fight scene. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. Perseus, hold fast. Brave the storm. This scene is unreal. The Minotaur looking so menacing in the rain and Sally waves a red flag to lure the bull in. That's actually funny. Percy telling Sally that he ain't gonna leave her behind, but Sally has to be the stern mother and she has to let him go. Oh, so, so good. Percy and the Minotaur charging at each other and Percy goes for the swing. Oh boy, this looks crazy. Then finally, we have this scene here. Maybe I won't even need a sword. sword. Percy saying how he doesn't need a sword, but my guy takes it back immediately as he is getting cooked by the Chimera monster. Wow, the effects of the monster and the fire looks really good here. And Percy being tossed around like a rag doll, and Percy's hilarious comment with his comedic timing, it's all incredible. That's what I'll say about this entire trailer. All of it is incredible. The Percy Jackson books have been beloved by millions of people for almost two decades now, and this is those books finally coming onto the big screen, for real this time. I think my favorite moments in this trailer were the Tunnel of Love ride, the Minotaur fight scene, the Underworld, the bow and arrow scene, and of course, the final battle with Ares. What were your favorite moments? Everyone, this show is gonna be incredible. It's time.